moments for a family in Hanahan tonight. Take a look at the video that we just got in. This car drove right into a house. It happened on Milano Street. The family was just one room over from where that car hit. News 2 Sophia Arizoza spoke to the homeowners tonight. And he was going wide open and he hit, just hit that house straight on. A house guest he wasn't expecting. It was just very, very scary. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I really thought. Carson Bullwinkle was out by the garage preparing to go fishing when he heard a car revving its engine and speeding through the street. And I heard the noise of the engine, which is unusual. This is a quiet subdivision. So he looked up to try and get the tags. And when I looked up, I just saw the car flying through, through, through this way. I thought if he tried to turn that corner, he was going to turn over, but he never turned. It just came straight across, uh, hit that, hit the culvert, went right straight through the flower bed and into the house. The house he's called home for 45 years. His wife and daughter just one room away from where the car struck. And I knew that my family and all were in the den area, so they were out of, out of harm's way. So he ran to check on the driver. It was scary. And... Uh, but then I was worried about him. I wanted to know what was going on with him. And he was just, he was just out of it. The driver was unharmed, as was the Bullwinkle family. And Carson says he feels lucky. Very blessed, very blessed. The Lord was looking out for us. Happy about it. And you know, you can repair a house. Can't repair a life. I want to take a minute to show you just how close this car came to the Bullwinkle family. They were right in this room, so you can see just how lucky they were. As for the driver, police say he wasn't under the influence, but he was sent to Trident, where he's being checked for any medical issues since there's no other explanation to why he drove into the house. In studio, Sophia Arizoza, News 2.